Hey there, Dr. Mungli here. So in this video, I will be briefly explaining about glycolipids. As you know, glycolipids, these are the carbohydrate containing lipid molecules. So the examples for glycolipids that I would like to explain here is uh, GPI and that is glycophosphatidyl inositol. That's what is GPI. And another example for glycolipid is uh, blood group substances. So blood group substance is an example for glycolipid. So first let's uh, get into GPI first and then I'll take you into blood group substance. Now the GPI, glycophosphatidyl inositol, I have shown you the structure of glycophosphatidyl inositol here. As you can see on top there is a protein molecule that is attached and on the bottom that you see there is a membrane that is present there. So in between that is the structure, there are a lot of uh, different carbohydrate units are attached there and that particular carbohydrate unit which is attached to the additional fatty acid and that additional fatty acid is attached to a membrane. So that portion we call it as glycophosphatidyl inositol, why because it has got an inositol molecule. So this glycophosphatidyl inositol, it is holding on to a protein on the surface. It means onto the membrane there is a fatty acid attached and the carbohydrate chain is there which is holding onto a protein molecule. So this is acting as a linkage or the linker molecule. And also you can see the length of this molecule. So that means a protein which is using GPI anchor or a glycophosphatidyl inositol anchor to attach to a membrane, it has got a freedom of mobility or the flexibility is there for this particular protein being present over the membrane. So there are certain proteins in our body which will use GPI anchors for attaching to a membrane and that is we have acetylcholine esterase enzyme attached to the red blood cell membrane, alkaline phosphatase which is present on the bone, intestine, placenta and also we have DK accelerating factor, DAF that is what is DK accelerating factor and CD59 colony detecting factor 59 so these are some of the things in our body which will use GPI, glycophosphatidyl inositol as for, for binding to a cell membrane. And if there is a defect in GPI anchors, that is if there is a defect in glycophosphatidyl inositol, so we are going to get into a disease called paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. So especially the GPI anchors which are uh, used for binding of DAF and CD59 on the red blood cells, these are the things that can be defective in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. I have a video on PNH that is paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. So you can find the link for that video in the description below and also it is appearing right now on the upper right corner there. Thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions so feel free to drop it in the comment section below. I'll, ex uh, I'll answer to it as, as quickly as possible. Thanks again and see you in my next video.